23rd of July, 2019. What's important about this date, you may ask? Well, this was the day our dear friend Freddy Krueger got reworked so hard, he became the uninteresting and redundant killer we know him as today. But in January 2025, this is set to change again, because Behaviour recently revealed that a complete Freddy rework is coming. But what changes can we expect? Well, that's the golden question. And I'm going to be making a video on what changes I think Behaviour will make. But today, we are diving deep into the fog of my thoughts for this Freddy rework. This is entirely what I would do. My ideas are mental. Just a quick note, my name is TDK. I am a Dead by Daylight gaming and news channel. If you enjoy videos like this, please consider leaving a like first of all, subscribing to the channel if you are new, and we also have memberships for the price of a small coffee, where you can get exclusive access to chats, early uploads, and many more. So, there are many reasons I could list as to why Freddy isn't an appealing killer to use or play against, but I have condensed these into four major points. The first is his limited depth in powers. So right now you can either use snares or dream palettes, and teleport between gens. That's it. It's rather uninspiring and leads me straight on to the second point. There is no skill gap to using Freddy. Generally as a killer, the more you play, the more you'll master their powers. With Freddy, there isn't anything to master. He is so basic in his current state that there isn't going to be a huge difference from someone with 200 hours of Freddy gameplay to someone with 20 hours of Freddy gameplay. Actually, does anybody know someone that exists with over 200 hours of Freddy gameplay? Let me know in the comments. Thirdly, Freddy matches are very passive and repetitive. Dull and limited powers naturally bleed into the entirety of the match, and this is very much the case here. And finally, the Nightmare Man himself is a very predictable killer to play against as a survivor. So even as a survivor, you get a very obvious visual cue that Freddy is teleporting to a generator. Snares are easily countable if you're a good looper, and dream pallets can be spotted if you know what you're looking for. There is a whole list as I said, so forgive me for missing anything, but those are four things that particularly stick out to me. So, what would I do differently? Well, firstly, I would completely overhaul the dream world. The embodiment of what makes Freddy the iconic horror villain so many of us love is the limitless possibilities of him in dreams. And that's exactly why I would use the sleep meter. The sleep meter is a tier system, similar to Michael Myers, that the killer would need to level up. The match would begin with tier one. In this instance, Freddy can jump between the real world and the dream world. In the dream world, he can create many illusions, dream palettes, dream chests, dream generators, Dream Walls, and finally, Dream Survivors. In Tier 1, no survivors can get into the Dream World. In the real world, Freddy is limited to only basic attacks in Tier 1. But how can you level up to Tier 2? This can be done through injuring survivors, prolonged chases, and damaging generators while our survivor is within your terror radius. Once Freddy reaches Tier 2, he can begin placing Dream Pallets, Chests, and Generators around the map, which will all contribute to levelling up to tier 3. Also in tier 2, Freddy can now pull survivors into the dream world. A basic attack will pull survivors into the dream world. Survivors in this world will have a marker on the HUD to indicate so. In the dream world, Freddy's strengths and illusions advance to the extent that he can now set advanced traps, like nightmare mirrors for example. This will show survivors reflections of themselves briefly or Freddy behind them in walls or broken mirrors around the map. If survivors get a little too close, the mirror cracks or shatters, briefly stunning or disorientating them, thus revealing their position. Each survivor that enters the dream world in tier two does have ways of escape. The first is by remaining in the dream world for 180 seconds. After this time, you will wake up. Three minutes is a long time on DBD though, so quicker means of escape is by using an alarm clock found within the dream world or being hooked by Freddy. Now let's talk about 
Tier 3 Freddy, because this is crazy. Tier 3 Freddy allows full control over the dream world. And at this point, Freddy can forcefully pull survivors into the dream world for up to 180 seconds without having to use a basic attack. In the dream world, while in tier three, survivors will experience the following. Hazy vision. Survivors in the dream world see through a nightmare haze that makes the environment appear distorted, adding difficulty in identifying real versus dream objects. Ultimate dream illusions. Freddy could create temporary nightmare walls to block pathways, flickering hooks, and dream totems that give survivors false security, but are actually traps. There will also be hallucinations. Survivors could experience hallucinations of Freddy briefly appearing right in front of them or in nearby areas, making it hard to discern where he actually is. And at this point, survivors will also start seeing illusions of their teammates. Survivors in the dream world in tier three are all exposed. Now I do think survivors should have better means to counter Freddy with this new power. And that's why I would introduce chests similar to that of Vecna. In these chests, you can get a random item or something more helpful against Freddy. This would be a portable alarm, which you can trigger any time in the dream world to instantly escape. I wouldn't change Freddy's perks necessarily. I'd naturally update his add-ons such as prolonged periods of time in the dream world, slower slash faster tier leveling up depending on the benefits, and maybe even a permanent tier three, because why not? So guys, in a nutshell, that's what I would do. Is it outlandish? Is it a little too much? Maybe, but it's Freddy fucking Krueger, and he deserves to feel like Freddy fucking Krueger. Let's go high. But hey, I would absolutely love to hear your guys' thoughts, let me know in the comments, please leave a like if you would be so kind, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next video.